Let's talk about robots. Future medical instruments will become robotic. Recent advances in AI, physics ML, ray tracing, and the computing advance we've spoken about will also revolutionize medical instruments. The algorithms will be reimagined by AI. The instrument will be reinvented by edge computing architectures. The business models will be revolutionized as instrument sales will be replaced by medical device software as a service solutions. These dynamics are great for the patients, for the hospitals, and for the instrument makers of this $200 billion industry. The industry needs a software-defined imaging platform to build this future on, just as the auto industry needed a software-defined AV platform. Today, we're announcing NVIDIA Clara Holoscan, a software-defined programmable imaging platform. Holoscan is the culmination of many years of planning. It takes all of NVIDIA's technology to make Holoscan. The last two pieces of the puzzle are just coming online. Unified computing framework that I've described and a new chip, Orin, a super fast sensor processing robotics chip. The base Holoscan platform consists of Orin and CX7. Orin can process the entire robotics pipeline, sensors, physics, AI, imaging and graphics, in a single chip, 12 ARM CPUs, 5.2 teraflops of FP32, 250 tops of AI, 740 gigabits per second, nearly a terabit per second of high-speed I.O. to connect sensors. You can optionally add an A6000 Ampere GPU and get another 39 teraflops of FP32 and over 600 tops of AI inference. With Clara Holoscan UCF, instrument makers have a development platform to build real-time applications that connect these powerful engines. The Holoscan platform is open. Third parties can build upon Holoscan's interfaces and APIs. Researchers can do great new science, and instrument makers can integrate Holoscan into their solutions. We are delighted that AJA Video Systems, Kaya Instruments, Verisonics, and us for us are building front-end sensors to support Clara Holoscan. Holoscan applications can be deployed fully in instrument, in the hospital's data center, or a mixture of both. This allows companies to develop applications that require more computing than is in the device or to upgrade the installed base of devices years after deployment. NVIDIA Clara Holoscan is a full-stack, open platform for next-generation software-defined instruments. Holoscan is our third robotics platform. We've got some great updates on our other two, Isaac and Drive. The robotics industry is growing incredibly. Our Isaac ecosystem is now over 700 companies and partners. That number has grown five times in the last four years. AMRs, or autonomous mobile robots, are being deployed in giant warehouses to handle the incredible growth of e-commerce fulfillment. Cleaning robots, restaurant and retail automation robots, last mile delivery robots, moving telepresence robots are all being worked on. A robot perceives the environment, reasons about where it is and where it needs to go, what it needs to do, and then develops a plan to do it. There are three interconnected work streams in building a robotic system. First, train the robot's AI models to perceive. For training, we have NVIDIA AI and DGX. Second, in a simulator, train the robot to manipulate or navigate. For simulation, we have Isaac Sim on Omniverse running on RTX. The Isaac Sim Omniverse simulation will also serve as the digital twin of the robot when deployed. Third, operate the robot in the environment. Here, Isaac, running on AGX, does the perception, localization, mapping, and planning, or otherwise, the robotics pipeline in real time. If the robots are connected over 5G and orchestrated from a central server in the warehouse, we would operate the Isaac stack on EGX. So DGX, RTX, EGX, and AGX systems and their appropriate software stacks make up the end-to-end -end machine learning loop. 
Isaac is a full stack and open platform. Isaac now supports the Ross ecosystem, the large open source robotics community. Ross has 700,000 developers and is growing fast. The Isaac runtime can now be a node in the Ross framework. For example, to do object detection, segmentation, 3D post estimation, visual odometry, or point cloud processing. All of that can be 10 times faster. Instantly, ROS developers get a giant boost in performance and benefit from the algorithms in Isaac. ROS developers can also import the ROS URDF robot definition format directly into Isaac Sim to simulate the robots. Isaac Sim is the most realistic robotic simulator ever created. It's built on Omniverse. Sensors are modeled, physics is simulated, environments are photorealistic, robots in simulation are running their actual stack, either SIL, software in the loop, or HIL, hardware in the loop. The robot is connected to an actual map. It really feels it's in the environment. The goal is for the robot to not know whether it is inside a simulation or the real world. We strive to minimize the sim to real domain gap. Training data is incredibly hard to create for robotics. Unlike cars on roads, the world of robots is far more random. Cars follow lanes and avoid other cars. Robots have no lanes and are designed to make contact. It is impossible to collect and label all the scenarios to train a robot. Isaac Sim Replicator is an engine to generate synthetic data to train robots. Replicator simulates the sensors, generate data that is automatically labeled, and with a domain randomization engine, creates rich and diverse training data sets. The ROS community will be supercharged end-to-end -end with Isaac Replicator, Isaac Sim on Omniverse, and Isaac ROS. Someday, everything that moves will be autonomous, either fully or mostly autonomous. By 2024, the vast majority of new EVs will have substantial AV capability. We are developing an end-to-end -end flow for building autonomous vehicles, as well as a full-stack in-car AV system and a global cloud map. NVIDIA Drive is full-stack and an open AV platform. Customers can decide to use just our development flow parts of our driving computer, connect to our cloud map, or partner with us end-to-end. -end. We're working with companies building cars, SUVs, sports cars, trucks, vans, robo-taxis, and food delivery vehicles. Autonomous vehicles are robots, and the same three pillars of machine learning development apply. Training models with NVIDIA AI and DGX, simulation and synthetic data generation with DriveSim on Omniverse, and a real-time robotics pipeline with Drive AV on the Orin robotics chip. The first goal is to transform the data from surround sensors into a 4D world model. The left image is showing the surround cameras. The right image is the world model, essentially the mind of the car. With a high integrity and high precision world model, we use it to avoid obstacles, localize to a map, reason about the environment, and plan paths to reach our destination. It starts with the sensor and computing architecture of the car. The design should allow for high fidelity sensing, redundancy and failover safety, with sufficient computing power and programmability to process software improvements for the life of the car. This is Hyperion 8, the architecture of 2024 models. The sensor suite is 12 cameras, nine radars, 12 ultrasonics, and one front LiDAR. All of this is processed by two Orins. For the dev kit, we include Ampere GPUs to give plenty of performance headroom so that engineers can have the best environment to prototype new software. Hyperion 8 is available today. For anyone developing an AV or sensors for AV, Hyperion 8 is an ideal platform. We collect petabytes of road data from around the world and have some 3,000 trained labelers creating training data. Still, synthetic data generation is a cornerstone of our data strategy. Here you see a scene through the simulated surround cameras with data labeled automatically. And on the right, some of the AI models that were trained with the data. DriveSim Replicator is a synthetic data generator 
for autonomous vehicles and is built on Omniverse. The lens models are simulated and consider motion blur, rolling shutter, LED flicker, and Doppler effect. We work closely with sensor makers to accurately model their sensors. The camera, radar, and LiDAR sensor models are path traced. The materials are physically simulated for accurate beam reflections. We built a LiDAR materials library, and now we're also building a radar materials library. Replicator is a game changer for us. Replicator bootstraps the AI labeling tools and the AI models before Hyperion 8 is even built and any data has been collected. Replicator can label ground truth in ways that humans cannot, tracking moving objects across sensors, velocity, distance, occlusion, severe weather conditions. It is accurate and low cost, and it augments data where we have known gaps. Mapping is a critical pillar of driving. It is the collective memory of the fleet and can be considered another sensor. A couple of months ago, we welcomed DeepMap to our company. DeepMap is a world-leading expert in mapping for autonomous driving. Between DeepMap and our existing map team, we're scaling out globally. We do both survey mapping and fleet mapping. Fleet mapping crowdsources, or with one car, incrementally builds up a drivable map. With each drive, more of the route is perceived and reconstructed in 3D. Survey mapping is a fleet dedicated to mapping. We will have a fleet to survey map the most popular areas in the world. Survey maps prime the fleet even before it's launched. It also serves as the ground truth data for our cloud mapping AI system. Since the last GTC, we've turned on urban driving and autonomous parking. We're now running Hyperion 8 sensors, 4D perception, deep learning-based multi-sensor fusion, feature tracking, and a new planning engine. This is our Mercedes Hyperion 8, driving a route of urban streets and highways near our headquarters. You will see Mercedes negotiate merges, crosswalks, intersections, a roundabout, a cloverleaf, merge contenders, cut-ins, and pedestrians. Enjoy.
AV will revolutionize how cars drive and will greatly improve road safety. The inside of the car will also be revolutionized. The technology of Maxine will reimagine how we interact with our cars. With Maxine, your car will become a concierge. Maxine will show you what is on the mind of the chauffeur precisely and use neural graphics to reconstruct a 3D surround view so that you can have confidence in the autonomous driving. Maxine will summon valet mode, search for a parking spot, and park the car. And Maxine, with all the amazing avatar technologies we're building, will seem incredibly smart. What kind of driving modes do you have? I have Max Range, Super Hush, Sport, and Super Sport. Which would you like? I don't want to be late. Let's go Super Sport. Got it. Super Sport it is. All of this will run on the new Orin Robotics chip. Future cars will be your personal AI chauffeur and AI concierge. The technologies I've shown you today make all this possible. Here we've applied it to autonomous vehicles, but the technology can be generalized to all kinds of robotic applications. A robotic stack for navigation and manipulation and a robotic stack for human interaction. It's going to be pretty darn amazing.